in my personal experience, um, because I my biggest concern was was the the monetary was the monetary portion of that because um, I didn't have enough money to go and my scholarship wouldn't cover it, and so I ended up having to borrow a lot of money um, to be able to pay for the fees. It wasn't a lot of money. I mean, compared to a lot of other study abroad programs, the fees are are very reasonable. But for me, someone who is you know entirely dependent on you know, outside funds to go to school. It was a lot for me. Um, and before I left, I was, I was worried about, about my loan, and I thought my life was over, that the fact that I, had, that I had to borrow money was, you know, that was it. It was, you know, it was going to completely ruin all of my dreams for the future, and I was, you know, I was going to be, I was going to be worried about it the whole time I was there. But actually going and experiencing the whole thing, I, I found in the end, and it actually didn't take too long, actually, to, to find it out that, that it's certainly worth it. Um, that the experience, not just, not just the language experience and the language practice, which is, you know, to me was probably the biggest, you know, and, and, and most memorable part, um, but also just the experience of being there and, you know, being able to go places and being able to see China firsthand and to see these places you know that you know here you only read about in books or talk about in class you know actually going and 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 seeing history and living history and you know the the friendships that you develop with your classmates you know from your school and then also you know friendships and relationships that you develop with the chinese people is also very important um and in terms of time it was certainly worth my time um because they um they combined two semesters of Chinese into one semester. And so it ended up being that I got more Chinese credits for being there for one semester than had I stayed in Tucson. Um, so that ended up being really effective. And as, as far as money goes, my case, you know, my case was kind of a special case um, because I, I, didn't, I didn't fully search and um, you know, for all of the all of the possible financing options, which there which there are a lot of, um, there are nationally competitive scholarships that that pay a significant portion of the cost. Some that pay for the entire thing, um, and then there are also school wide grants and such. The study abroad office offers a grant, and then in the program they were offering a grant too, and they also provide incentive for um, encouraging other students to join. So they take they take a per percentage of um, of your tuition off if you recruit another student to participate in the program. And so, in terms of money, it's very doable um, compared to other study abroad programs. It's cheaper anyway, mm -hmm. but there also there are a number of financing options. Um, federal aid is also a big one that works, which I hadn't I hadn't taken any federal aid at that time.